A 2-0 win then for Manchester United, which puts them eight points behind Aston Villa, three points behind Spurs following that victory over Everton today. So what do we make now of their top four prospects, given that Villa and Spurs are playing each other tomorrow, so one or both is going to drop points? I, th I think Man United will be sitting there watching that and thinking, please be a draw. Um, they don't want either of those teams pulling away. Um, but I think Man United right now have got to just think about themselves chalk the wins off now and, and just hope that the teams above them start dropping points at some point. So Man United have unfortunately put themselves in this position now and they're, they're going to have to rely on other people now to, to have a chance of qualifying for the Champions League. Julian, Man United, top four. Why are you laughing? Why, why are you, do you know what I, mean? <laughs> no. I don't like this. It's not right. <laughs> no, listen. Man United obviously have aspirations to top four, but they shouldn't be, a club of this stature shouldn't be in a, in a situation where they're waiting on other clubs to drop points. Um, it should be in their own hands at any, any stage of this season. And listen, from where they were last season to where they are now, it, it's not progressed. Um, so there are obviously issues going on and, and things that need to be ironed out. But yeah, um, they just need to focus on themselves and hopefully it can get done for their sake. They just had 50% of the possession against Everton, Wayne. They faced 134 shots in, in their last six games. Is that top four? statistics and, and, and is that sustainable? No and I think that's what we've seen throughout the season and um, I don't think Manchester United will make top four um, I think because they have to almost win every game and um, I think they're a team which is very inconsistent and I can't see them winning every game so I think it's going to be very difficult and the the chances today they conceded I think it was 20 odd chances against them but there's no clear cut chances for Everton um, but it's too many. Um, there's, there's too many gaps. Uh, there's too many. It's too easy for teams to get opportunities against them. You can't keep doing that at this level. Yeah. You keep. You can get away of it for games and here and there. But in the end, you're going to get caught and you're going to get punched. And and unfortunately, Man United, uh, then they're not a team that dominates enough of the ball to, to stop teams at the moment. So we. I asked him that question before about giving up chances and it's finding that balance. Yes, the chances, like Wayne said, weren't clear cut, but. You can't. The way you play football is about stopping the opposition to have any type of chance at yeah. goal. Because he said to Jules, didn't he, that they defended well. But the point is, against a team that's more clinical than Everton... They well, listen, they're going to play against Liverpool. They played like that against Liverpool, that open with the spaces. The spaces around Casemiro, huge spaces. And he's someone that needs people around him sometimes to be able to, to kind of make sure that the, the, the gaps are filled. They do that... And they, they, they have transitions like they did against uh, Everton today. You're playing against better finishers, more confident finishers and more efficient in Liverpool players. And it will be a different story at the end of the game.